Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Rhodes College Athletic Weekly Update. I'm Jeff Libsey. In men's basketball, the men's team beat Barry College on Friday, 88-72, to and were led by senior forward Shane Watson, who had a career-high 29 points. The Lynx Here's then fell to Oglethorpe the University on Sunday in a tough game, 81-74. to The women's team stayed atop the SAA with two big conference wins this weekend. The Lynx took down Barry College on Friday, 58-46, to and were led by senior guard Lauren Avent, who had 26 points. On Sunday, the Lynx handled Oglethorpe easily, winning 80-54, to and were once again led by Avent, Back who had 30 points. Here's Johnson, These performances Johnson gave Avent her fourth SAA Player of the Week of the season. Both men's and women's teams will be on the road for their last conference regular season games of the season this weekend at Swanee and Center. In the swimming world, both men's and women's swim teams wrapped up their season this weekend with the conference championships in Birmingham, and the men posted a fifth place overall finish, while the women finished second overall. A bright spot for the women was Mary Pertura, who had two first place finishes in both the one meter and three meter dives. In rounding out winter sports, both men's and women's track teams posted victories in the SAA Indoor Challenge in the last indoor meet of the season. Both teams look forward to starting their outdoor season on March 1st at the Mississippi College Invitational. And now on to spring sports. The Rhodes softball team started off the weekend with a tough 8-3 loss against DePaul, but then responded with three straight wins, beating Maryville 9-0 and 4-1, and then beating DePaul on a rematch on Sunday 3-0. Pitcher Forrest Skelton went 2-0 on the weekend with 20 strikeouts, while Alicia Klein earned the SAA Player of the Week after starting the season off with a 500 batting average. The Rhodes baseball team went 2-0 against Lemoyne University this weekend, winning the doubleheader 6-5 and 5-1. Pitchers Thomas Beamish and Adam Putnam got the wins for the Lynx, who will be back in action this weekend at home against Wartburg College and Washington University. The Rhodes men's lacrosse team lost a nail-biter on Saturday, 7-6 to Southwestern College. Goalkeeper Braxton Miller notched 12 saves while playing all 60 minutes in goal for the Lynx. Rhodes will be back in action this weekend at home against the University of Dubuck. The Rhodes women's lacrosse team had a huge weekend, posting the first victory in the program's history with a 17-5 win over LaGrange. The Lynx were led by Tori Van Heist, who had five goals, while Sarah Daniels had eight saves in goal for the Lynx. Rhodes will be back in action this weekend against rival Swanee here at home. And that's it for another edition of the Rhodes College Athletic Weekly Update. I'm Jeff Libsey. Until next time, keep rolling, Lynx.